All right, you guys. So, Spiri, hold on. Because what? Anyways, Spirit wanted me to do a pick a card with this new Oracle deck. And it's just going to be a one card pick a card. Because it's a lot to be said. Um, I got these erasers because they were cute. And I did not plan to use them. I planned to use them for like a pick a series. And um, Spirit wanted me at like Fruits of the Spirit in my mind. Today, Pastor was talking about did a verse and it said Fruits of the Spirit. So for me to like have that a private thought come out of his mouth, that was crazy. So today, Spirit was like, you need to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to post this tonight too. Or maybe tomorrow night. I'm going to try to do live channels all week. So, it's live energy. So, anyways, we have a strawberry, bananas, grapes, lemons. Let's get with it. Okay, so it's quiet now. My neighbors may get loud. They were playing music earlier. We don't know. But either way, let me go ahead and get your card ready. Okay, this came up. Flower of life, divine creativity and manifestation. Let's see what the book has to say for you. That is beautiful. I'm getting um from this energy, fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um eight may be significant for you guys. It says you are entering a fertile period of your life, okay. Focus on your creativity and how potent your energy is becoming and watch it grow. Do not resist change. Instead, let it flow. Let it happen. Okay? This is the time that you're blossoming. Okay? Your soul is, is yearning from creativity and manifestations. Um... <clears throat> It says the flower of life holds the secrets to allowing your creative change and transformational circumstances, manifestations, and healing the easiest and most enjoyable way possible. So, evidently, it's time for you to in, indulge in an activity. Um, maybe you guys out here basketball. Um, for some of you painting, for some of you singing, um... Whatever you have that you have put on the back burner or said you don't have time to do, it's time for you to have time for it. Um, the flower of life is nurturing you into a more whole expression of your divine self. Some of you, I heard, you're going to come into your divine, divine partner. Some of you guys, and is this Horace? Yeah, I'm seeing Horace being depicted here with her. So what I'm hearing is, oh my God, they are being so loud. Let them close the door. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is a message, y'all. Because usually I, like, turn off the camera, but the spirit was like, let it fly. For some of you guys, your ratchet lifestyle is what's keeping you from being the person you're supposed to be. It's like, you know you're luscious. You know that everybody wants to fuck with you. But that's the reason why you, you're not manifesting. Because you're so busy worrying about why people want to fuck with you. Um, or trying to give people something to fuck with or like giving somebody like it's like you're worried about how you're worried about your energy going out instead of your energy going up i'm gonna put it like that but yes um i don't i don't i'm not getting the tarot for this because this is just the pick a card pick a pick a fruit pick a spirit um segment so i hope you heard what you needed to hear okay and come again Hey, part number two, you picked the bananas. I don't know why I'm saying bananas weird. Like, maybe you're a person who's overly animated. Spirit of Isis. Okay, energy. So, that's probably why I was giving that weird energy. Because, not that you're weird, but it's just the fact that, you know, that was just channeled very loud. And, like, it just kept coming through. So, for some of you, are you guys obnoxious? Anyways, if the, except the people who accept you, period. So the guidebook says that there are times to surrender and times to let go, but never, but there are never times to give up, okay? 
it is helpful on this path that you are on to let go and detach over and over again. We need to stay true to your heart and not let up. So maybe some of you guys, I was actually weird. I was like, sh I don't know why I'm like, I was like, I said it in my head and I was like, I hope that don't come out because that's weird. And it still came out. So some of you guys are suppressing yourself because you don't want to make other people feel comfortable. I deal with this. Like, I'm like, I have to deal with people who are old, older people love me. They know me to be a good hearted person. But the fact that I do this, sometimes it's like, it's stirring to them. They, they hate that. And it's okay that they hate that, but don't be, you know, weird about it. So, and it's not even you, it's them. And it doesn't even deal with you, it's them. So maybe some of you need to be the queen that you're meant to be because you're going to lead other princesses soon. Um, the power of genuine inner will, not force or domination, but the but that power that fuels us to continue our inner practices. So yeah, being true to yourself, okay? Divine strength. Oh, I'm saying divine, but it says feminine strength. So maybe it's a divine masculine here. Hey, let me stop playing. <laughs> So, this oracle comes at a time when you need to know that you will succeed, okay? So, maybe some of you guys are, like, kind of, like, down on yourself. And this is not the time to be down on yourself because you are in a position to rise up, period. If you're kneeling, make sure you're praying. And that's just that on that. So, some of you guys needed to hear that. This, this cherished desire unfolds with divine protection, with deep gratitude in my heart. So, some of you guys need to have more gratitude when it comes to your circumstance, when it comes to yourself. And understand that everything happens in time. It doesn't happen overnight, okay? So, thank you guys for tuning into this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. Definitely tune, definitely share so other people can tune in and you can also get a free bag, okay? A chance to win it, okay? So, yeah. And I'm going to see you guys later. Hey, pal number three. I heard fertility. Some of you guys are fertile. Maybe some of you guys had a lot of kids. Got a lot of kids. Let's get into your pick a card. Talisman of potency. Charging sacred objects of power. That's very interesting. Um, I kind of felt like you're an attractive person. I don't know why I got the energy, but I felt that energy. So, and then I'm looking at her and I see here she's very attractive. And she's also like happy that she's attractive. She enjoys being attractive. So maybe you're a person who enjoys being attractive. All right. Sacred tools and objects can become an extension of your energy. Maybe you guys are led to be more crystal oriented. Maybe you guys want to, you know, get crystals. I'm actually going to be offering necklaces and bracelets and anklets soon. So maybe there's something you want to, you, you need to be protected. I'm getting what the spirit is trying to say. You need to be more protected, okay? Um, a way of protecting yourself is wearing evil eye. I wear evil eye. I actually, I have an evil eye um, ring and stuff. And when I feel like I need the most protection, that's that's when I wear it. So maybe that's something that you need to look into. Maybe you need to look into healing properties around your house. I have tons of crystals just around my house. Because I want the energy to flow well. You know? And maybe you need to look into feng shui and how your house is set up. Maybe your bed could be set up in a different position to where you're getting the most sleep. The, to where the most the, the best energy is flowing your way when you're getting sleep to where you're feeling peaceful. Um, maybe you need to clean up to make your house a little bit, to make the energy a little less stagnant. Maybe you have glass on the floor. Maybe you have cups everywhere. Maybe you have, and cups is a symbol of empty, empty energy, empty emotions. You need to throw those away. Maybe you have, um, you just have things everywhere. Maybe you need to donate and give to people. Maybe you need to stop hoarding all of this energy like I was and just give give to people. I gave away a whole bunch of mahogany toys. I'm about to give away a whole bunch of my toys. I mean, I'm talking about my toys. My clothes and stuff. Like, it's, it's time to give, you know. And we're in the season of giving, you know. Like, November is giving because guess what? December is receiving. So, it's like you have to act in a way that is more so um, aligning with your purpose and your potential. Um, this oracle is seeking you to draw awareness to your special ability to work with things. So maybe you have healing hands. 
Maybe you guys have, um, maybe you guys love to give massages. Maybe you guys, um, do hair. Maybe you guys, like, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of work with your hands. So, maybe that's something you need to look into. And look, her hand, boom. So, yeah. Um, and then she's wearing a necklace. Look. What did I say? I wasn't even looking that hard when I was talking. She's very, she's dressed. It's like your, how you present yourself is exactly how your mind is. So some of you guys aren't looking as best as you could. And because you know you're not looking as best as you could, you're not giving that full energy. But I'm hearing you need to put yourself in a position of giving out full energy. That's that and that's on mother effing that. Okay? So, yes, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Like, share, please subscribe, share. Tell me that you're subscribing so you can be entered into a chance of getting a free Mystic Bag, okay? You guys, I know they came, ran together. I can't breathe, but whatever. I'm going to catch y'all later. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, we have the Lemon. I don't know why I'm getting that you're a person who is maybe like... You may be on edge about this tarot reading stuff. And maybe you're on edge about a lot of the circumstances that may be offered right now in your life. We're going to see. What is the inner glue that jumped out at me? The Lunar Queen Lemon Lunar. I'm seeing Taurus energy. I'm seeing sexy energy. Okay. She of the... Celestial, that's the word. She of the Celestial Crescent. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Moon energy, cancer, Heavy Cancer energy, Taurus energy. So, hmm. Interesting. Let's get into... Let me, first off, let me stop playing. Like, I really know this book. I just got this tarot deck. So, for spirits to tell me to use it. Like, when I first... I don't even care. The other tarot deck that I bought with this... I real life connected to it quick. And I've been using it heavy. Like, I've been using it like I've been had it. And it's like... My, my message to you is like... When they say make lemons with lemonade... It's like... You need to own everything. Like, you need to own the energy like you've been in the energy. If you're not in that energy. Like, fake it till you make it type stuff. But don't be like some people and fake too hard too long, you know? So, it's there's a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles, rest, replenishment. What did I say? Balancing. Like, fake it till you make it, but not too much, you know? Just just a little bit, not too much. <laughs> My daughter, real life, three years old, and she said it just a little bit, not too much. Because she like she's a Libra. So, I want her to understand the importance of balance. Because I want her to be a successful individual, of course. Like, let's be real. So, this moon is in the moon of changing form. Okay, you see how these kids outside yelling loud like they mama, like they parents be doing? That's ghetto. You will never hear my child doing it. Period. Anyways, it's, and you see how they dissipated because that's how the devil works. You have to speak up on your energy. If you're a Cancer, if you're a Pisces, if you're a Scorpio, you have to speak up on your energy. Okay? It's saying here, the other times when you feel the inner oven timer has run and the time that delusions, hold on, and it is time to get that delicious meal on the table, your body will urge you to dance, to act, to communicate, to be bold and take steps. This is the time to take steps. So when people come up on you at this time of life, it's time for you to do what your intuition tells you to do. Okay, it's encouraging you to be strong. Okay, it's encouraging you to be who you need to be. If a person is urging you to do something that you don't want to do, you need to let them know. Um, I'm not effing with it. <clears throat> and I can't F with it, okay? If you're already in the flow and you already know what you need to do, this is your time to shine, little book. This is it. But like, you see how she ready? But for those of you who are insecure, it's time for you to shine too. It's time for you to be very respectful of the person who you are. Like, don't let nobody say nothing to you. Like, if somebody you know always pushing you around, let them know. Um, no, you're not going to talk to me like that. I'm sorry. Um, when you have the respect for me, like, I feel like I have the respect for you by not going off on you, then we can have a polite conversation. Because that's how I am. Like, I'm not finna let you get me out, out your body, but you're gonna get out your body even more knowing that I'm not finna get out my body. But let me tell you something. Get too close and that's gonna be it. And that's just how I am. I'm a cancer. So I already know. 
And I feel like you're that type of person, too. I feel like a lot of you guys have fire in your charts as well as earth sign. I have a balance. I've looked into my birth charts. I have a balance of all charts, of, of all other signs. Leo is not directly in my birth chart. Man, I'm glad because I'll be way too aggressive. But, yeah, I'll be like uh, too Tusami. Is the T silent? I don't know. Anyway, you rest the end of your reading. <laughs> if you like me, please like. If you like, I can't even say this. I can't even say it. I feel like some of you guys are my friends. I feel like I'm going to be friends with you guys. I don't know. Because I feel so comfortable. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my reading style, please subscribe. Definitely tune in to another reading. Share this message with somebody you feel like would be helped. And also let me know with the screenshot and the email that you have and you can be entered into a drawing. Okay, thank you and I'm going to see you next time.